We are grateful for the gift of life and strength to wait upon the Lord in the past 21 days. And we thanking him for giving us the privilege and the opportunity to be here today in the 22nd day of our fasting and prayers. Beloved, I pray for you that the Almighty God will grant all your heart desires as we intercede, as we pray for the church of God, pray for our nation, pray this prayer point. God will use them to also answer all your specific prayer points in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today our prayer focus is, the wind is blowing against negative aspects of social media. The wind is blowing against the negative aspects of social media. We know that everything God created is good. In fact, everything that God inspires man to create is supposed to be good for man. But the devil comes in through the back door to create the fake and to abuse, to adulterate what God has given people wisdom to create. Social media is good, but we have the downside, the negative side that we are praying against today. And that part of social media that destroys people's lives, that brings people down, will not have power over you, over your children, over your family, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our text is from Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. It says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the word and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So it's a prophecy in scriptures that knowledge will be increased, of course, to the benefit of humanity. The Bible also says in Job chapter 5, verse 12, Job 5, 12, it says, He disappointeth the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. The craftiness of the crafty, the evil of the wicked will fail concerning your life, my life, even through the use of the social media. In Jesus' name, amen. Proverbs 18.9. Proverbs 18.9 says, He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. And one of the things that social media does, it's, it makes people lazy taking the attention away from doing what is needful, what is important, it may not be urgent, but important for their destinies, for, the, for them being hardworking, for them prospering in a legitimate, godly way. The downside of social media, we want to pray against today, and God will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Social media has lots of disadvantages, lots of advantages, but there is a darker side of social media that is gradually competing with the benefit. This includes cyberbullying, revenge, porn, cybercrime, addiction, and mental issues that appear to be growing as a result of excessive and improper use of social media. So we're going to pray as we arise as one, that everyone who had become a victim, who had become captured by the power of negative use of social media, that today God will set them free in the name of Jesus. Every addiction to social media that is making people lose out of destiny, making people lose out of God's purpose for their lives. As we intercede and pray today, the power of social media will be broken in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to start by thanking God for the fulfillment of the increase of knowledge in this generation, according to Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. Let's give thanks to God. Thank you. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name. Thank you for the fulfillment of the increase of knowledge in this generation. All wise God, all knowing God, we give you praise and thanks. Thank you, Lord, for the advancement in technology and in internet. Lord, thank you for how knowledge has grown wide and far. Thank you for the internet. Lord, we know you are the originator, you are the author of the increase in knowledge to be able to invent the internet and technology. Lord, we return the praise to you. Thank you because you are at work in Jesus' name. We say, Lord, we thank you for the release of knowledge to provide solutions to all our challenges in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you. The social media, the internet generally has been used to solve many problems. 
lots lots of problems there's there's more comfort there is more accessibility there is communication over long distances there is increase in connectivity increase in transaction people's income has increased even through the social media god has used that platform to make many people prosperous to help many people to save many people's lives to social media has been a great blessing lord we are grateful for this knowledge thank you thank you in jesus name we pray amen say lord we, we thank you for your excellent spirit that you have made our portion in the name of jesus the same excellent spirit that was on daniel that made him outstanding in his days through the increase of the knowledge he had from books the same knowledge is available to you and to me so let's give thanks to god father we thank you for knowledge for the ability to understand to comprehend to read to learn to unlearn and to relearn lord it's a gift from you we are thanking you for thank god say lord i thank you for my mind i can even listen i can hear i can understand i can comprehend i can analyze i can articulate lord thank you for all these intelligences that even artificial intelligence cannot master oh we are grateful lord in jesus name we pray amen you say father thank you for not give just giving us wisdom but understanding and helping us in the application of this wisdom lord we thank you for the wisdom to apply the bible says in daniel chapter 2 verse 21 daniel 2 21 and he changed the times and the seasons he removed kings and set up kings he gave wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that no understanding god gives wisdom god gives knowledge beloved let's appreciate him if you know that you have access to the wisdom of god even as you are thanking him now then please let's thank him together lord you are the author and the source of wisdom we give thanks to you thank you lord for giving us wisdom and knowledge to maximize our lives to maximize our resources to maximize your life your resources everything god has given to you in jesus name we are grateful amen you say lord we rely on you for a long lasting solution to all vices and atrocities that social media and technology have brought to us in the name of jesus we rely on you we depend on you beloved god is the only lasting permanent real solution to the destruction of social media in this day and age things are getting worse the society is getting more immoral because of the use of social media so we need god the fear of god to be implanted into the hearts of men let's tell the lord father we ask of you in the name of jesus to rely on you for long lasting solutions and that's why christians beloved we must flood the social media space any platform you choose to operate on project jesus minister jesus post jesus talk about him he is the solution that the world needs even through social media either facebook instagram youtube or x whichever platform you are in please use it to propagate jesus is the solution that the world needs in jesus name we pray amen you say father we agree that knowledge is from you every demon manipulating our your original intention for social media lord be frustrated and disgraced in the name of jesus the bible says in james 1 17 every good and perfect gift they are from above from the father of light with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning therefore because all knowledge is from you oh our god every part of darkness that is corrupting the knowledge of god amongst men father we contend with them in the name of jesus 
Lord, we ask, O oh God, that the power of negative influence through demonic activities, manipulating social media, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, every power that has turned your good gift of to mankind into a bad gift, be disgraced now in the name of Jesus. Every force of hell, every principality and power, every demon in charge of social media that is corrupting the minds of people to explore the negative side of social media, even those who are the creators, those who are the ones putting content there, content that destroy people's lives, Lord, we ask that the host of heaven will contend with them as we join our forces together, as we pray together right now from the north to the east, west and south, from Africa to America, all over the world. Anyone the devil has hired and is sponsoring to use social media to destroy life, we contend against them by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, we deplete their resources. Lord, we weaken their wisdom. Lord, those who will use the wisdom of the social media to propagate good morals and good values, let them begin to emerge in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say, Father, arise and save our children from the spirit of worldliness in the name of Jesus. Arise, O God, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O God, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O God, let your enemies be scattered. O Lord, O God, arise, Lord, arise. Oh, and save our children. Oh, Lord, arise and deliver our children from the spirit of worldliness. God will save your children, save my children. The Lord will secure them. The Lord will protect them by his spirit in them. We pray. The Holy Ghost will fill your children for you. Now, where you are not, the Holy Ghost will be there with them. Where you cannot reach them, the Holy Ghost will reach them. It will secure their heart and preserve them from the negative, destructive influence of social media. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, every evil intention behind social media and technology be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Father, every evil intention behind social media and technology be exposed and disgraced. Lord God Almighty, every force of darkness, everyone in high place, Lord, coming together to use social media to control men negatively and to put them into captivity. Every force of hell and darkness, Lord Jesus, we pray they shall be exposed and disgraced. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in Job 12, 5, 12, Job 5, 12, it disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, my children, put the names of your children there. Call the names of your children. Follower Kemi, can you follow up? Follow shop, put the names of your children there. Will not, my children will not be victims of social media destruction in the name of Jesus. Your children will not be wasted. Their destinies will not be wasted through the negative influence of social media. God will secure them, protect them, preserve them, watch over them in the name of Jesus. Technology will rather enhance the lives and value of your children. Technology and the internet will not destroy them for you. The name of Jesus, the measures and the control you need to put in place, the discipline you need to put in place for your children, the wisdom of God will be available for you to do it and the courage you need to stand your ground that your children will not be destroyed by social media. Receive it in the name of Jesus and a obedient heart and obedient mind God will give to your children to yield in Jesus. Then we pray. Amen. You say, Lord, deliver our children and youth from the foolishness of social media. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive deliverance for all our youth and children from the negative spirit of social media. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say, Lord, help our people to be more diligent, 
dedicated and committed to their jobs, careers, ministry, and family than social media. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, we pray that we will not go deep down into the deep, deep pit of social media. That everyone that has been entangled with the, with the web of the internet, God you will set them free in the name of Jesus. That from now people will be more diligent and committed to their work. You can pray for yourself and pray for your loved ones, your spouse, your children, that the Lord will help them to set their priorities right, to do what is needful at the right time, and not to be distracted by social media, and not to be pulled down by social media. Many people's retention or attention span now has dropped significantly because they have exposed their minds to the social media, so they cannot concentrate on something for too long and ensure that they achieve results in it. Lord will break the yoke of social media upon the minds and the, the thinking abilities of every of your children in Jesus name we pray. Amen. You say, Lord, we pull down and destroy every evil altar that social media has built in the heart of our people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, like Gideon, we pull down. We pull down every evil altar that has been raised in the hearts of people, contending with the place of God, contending with the love of God, every evil altar, seed, evil seed sown in the hearts of our children, your children, your loved ones, your spouse. God will approve them in the name of Jesus. Every negative planting of social media be uprooted now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say, Father, as your wind is blowing, help our people to devote more time and energy to Bible study, prayers, praises, and things of your kingdom than social media. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will revive our commitment live, our fellowship lives in the name of Jesus. The wind is blowing for you, blowing for your family, blowing for your children, that you will be able to devote more time to fellowshipping with God in study of the word, in prayers, in worshiping, in meditation, in the name of Jesus. From today until you study the word of God and you meditate, you will not be at rest because that is where your total rest will be from. The word of God, the prayers in the spirit, praising and worshiping God. God will give you the grace to spend more time with him than on social media. So shall it be. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' Much less name we are praying, blowing, and you know that the negative aspect of social media will no longer have power over you. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. From now, the social media will serve the purpose of God in your life, and it will become a tool and a platform for you to reach out to souls for Jesus, and you will begin to see results. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for these prayers today. See you again tomorrow if Jesus tarries.